So I've been meaning to get back on to uh, YouTube for you guys. And this year has just been, I mean, I don't know how it is, how it's been for you guys, but uh, yeah, the last video I did, my son had moved back home and all hell broke loose. We had house issues. We had a whole three weeks of running to the park to use the washroom um, because nobody would approve going in there and changing up um, the toiletry, which the toilet wouldn't work. There's only one toilet and again, three of us now in the house. In addition to that, my office, um, basically I had to split it down the middle and have one side uh, be the studio and the other side be my office, I, which I share with my husband. So now we have a very small office and uh, yeah, like no kidding, we had to, I, I had to just, you know, figure out how I was going to do everything. So um, now that I'm back on, um, there's so many things that I have to catch everybody up with um, and that, a lot of that has to do with me changing my process uh, because I have a smaller space and there's uh, I'm sharing it with another person and um, I don't want to make uh, my husband uh, uncomfortable so moving on <laughs> and going forward um, I had to change my uh, the way I worked and my process and I will be sharing some of those videos with you hopefully within the next week so stay tuned there's um, a lot I have to share with you there's new equipment some of my old um, equipment um, because I'm a, a chem sensitive artist I discovered that I there's a name for it officially it's called MCS multiple chem multiple chemical sensitivities and uh, basically what I have to do is um, I have to find processes and supplies that I can use safely so it doesn't aggravate any of my allergies uh, so in addition to that some of the stuff I was using before like the um, what was it called um, the flex wax flex wax was discontinued can't use that luckily I fell back onto um, my mold star 16 which I'm not I don't have allergies to it but now in the winter time and you've got forced air heat and you can't open any windows because it'll freeze out the office um, there's workarounds that I had to I had to, I had to go to my protocols that I use with all my resin so with the resin I'm using my mask I'm using you know gloves um, I'm you know donning longer sleeves because again cold I, I did crack the window open a little bit but uh, yeah so a lot of changes I've got me some new toys um, the Cricut Joy is my friend <laughs> The Cricut Joy is my friend. I love the Cricut Joy. Love it so much. Um, I'm doing so many great things with it. And um, as you'll see shortly, I don't want to give anything away. But um, I had a huge issue with symmetry, cutting and symmetry, doing it freehand. And... I still can't do it, and I don't know how anybody else does it, but uh, uh, Cricut Joy, it's nice, it's cute, it's uh, very compact, it fits in our small little office that we have, which is actually about 150 square feet, it's more like, hmm, what is it, 7 by 6, what's that, 35 square feet, maybe 50 square feet, tiny little office that I have, okay, so... Uh, Cricut Joy, love that. Um, got me some uh, Uni Posca pens, which is fantastic. Uh, saves me time on purchasing brushes all the time. Um, almost, well, I have ordered some uh, liquid chalk pens, 
We'll see what happens with that. I would be interested in finding out. But by the way, the Uniposca pens do have some alcohol in it, and I did find myself reacting to it. So anything, um, I think that any new supplies that I get where it's a wet uh, type of, like a, a wet application, uh, for example, like Liquitex, um, golden clear leveling gel, anything that has a wetness to it, I am going to use my resin protocols. Just because, again, it's, you know, what are we going to do? It's winter time and all the windows are closed. I can't open it up as, open the windows up as much as I would like. Not like in the summertime, but for now, with the forced air, heat, uh, and furnace blasting, and uh, not, a, not a lot of ventilation in a small, tiny office, I am going to def most definitely use my protocols for that. i am got a new uh, apron that I'm going to use. Uh, one of my designs on Redbubble, they have aprons. I purchased a couple just to protect my, my clothing. They don't have lab coats, which is what I would ultimately love, but um, the aprons are really thick and they protect me from, uh, pr protect my clothing from getting any drips and things. The other thing that I'm, that I invested in was um, I invested in a face shield. Uh, now that we can get the face shields earlier on in, in, uh, in March, we couldn't get any of the good, um, masks because they were they were um, res reserving them for the healthcare professionals but I ended up getting sometime in July I think it was um, some of the plastic face shields um, I ordered a mask again from my red bubble store and uh, although I can blow up uh, balloons through it <clears throat> balloons through it what I do is I actually get a uh, coffee filter, and I put it in there, and it's fantastic. I don't uh, I don't have any issues uh, using this mask with the coffee filter in it. So um, in some of the processes, I actually use the face shield, and I use the the mask with the coffee filter in it, and it seems to protect me quite well. Um, something else that's new is I got. Uh, some Dremel equipment. So I got a scroll saw by Dremel. I also got a router, Dremel router desk. Um, they're small by comparison to, you know, the regular, you know, construction router tables and, and, and scroll saws. Um, but uh, they seem to be perfect and, and fit perfectly in my small, tiny little office. And um, standing desk, um, makeshift DIY standing desk. It's actually a shoe tray. <laughs> it got me a shoe tray. Um, I use that um, quite a bit because ergonomically, I can't really sit down and work. Um, not all the time. There are some things that I have to do in my process where standing is probably, you know, at eye level, having uh, my you know, um, whatever it is that I'm working on, having it at high eye level is much better, especially those of us that, uh, like me, uh, I wear bifocals. So, you know, the closer it is, the better it is for me. And um, I'm just having a really great time. I feel a lot more relaxed than before. Uh, before, I was really tense about you know, designing and getting good design and finding lightweight design and trying to solve all the problems. And um, I'm really excited to move on to uh, actually pulling out some product and uh, or creating creating product and getting product out to my to the masses. <laughs> Therefore. I will be using my process and showing you how to, you know, some alternatives of creating, you know, jewelry or, you know, pins, those sorts of things, the things that um, you may be interested in, in uh, doing yourself. Okay, so that's 
what's happening. Looking forward to showing you a lot of stuff. And um, hopefully I can get to it within the next week. By the end of January, anyhow. <laughs>